the major themes in my group are really how do we span from the micro scale to the macro scale. So how do we essentially look at mechanisms and interactions that may be happening amongst molecules, proteins, cell surfaces, and then scale that up to uh, ecosystems or community level. So for a very long time people thought of hosts and viruses, especially the viruses of microbes, as being very important from a, let's say, fundamental molecular genetics perspective. How do simple organisms function? But we realize they actually play a very important role ecologically. So if you go to, let's say, seawater or soil and you take a liter of seawater, you might find a billion or ten billion viruses in that, sea, uh, in that liter of seawater. And they are killing, modifying the behavior, uh, modifying community properties of essentially the microbial loop and therefore really the world. And so what we're trying to do in my group is to apply theories to understand, first of all, who's interacting with whom? Who's infecting whom? It's not just one virus for every host. As you know, humans, we can get infected, unfortunately, by many viruses. And so the same thing holds true for microbes. So first of all, we understand who infects whom, what are the patterns, what are the structures, and then what are the implications of the fact that microbes actually get diseases and killed and have to deal with uh, trying to resist the, the lysis or death by these viruses. And so one of the big issues that we're thinking about now is then transforming or thinking about these patterns of interactions and seeing, well, what does that mean for the flow of carbon, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, etc., other nutrients in the environment? Because every time a bacteria dies due to a virus, that means that that bacteria is not eaten by a larger organism which eventually goes up the food chain. So essentially keeps uh, certain nutrients in what is called the microbial loop. So we're doing a number of theories, uh, excuse me, theories that sort of investigate the interaction between patterns of interaction and function.